Hi, I've got an example here of Coulomb's law and point charges. So, given two point charges of equal mass m and charge q that are suspended at a common point by two threads of negligible mass and length l, show that at equilibrium the inclination, that should say angle, alpha of each thread to the vertical is given by, and then this thing here which uh, relates Q, the charge, with mass and gravity and alpha and the length of the thread. Now I've drawn a figure here and if you're given a problem that does not have a figure, well you need to be comfortable in drawing this figure. Um, I've done it here just for sake of time, right, to save on time. I've got my axes X and Y and then there's the symmetry here because um, both uh, charges are of the same mass and the same charge Q and um, same length L. So if they're suspended by the same point then and if they have the same charge they're going to repel each other in exactly the same way. So that angle alpha is going to be the same and then I've labeled this distance their separation distance D. Now note that that separation distance D is well if I take the length L, which is the hypotenuse of one of those triangles, and I multiply it by the sine of alpha, that gives me half of the distance. So if I take twice that, now I've got the separation distance d. Now the magnitude of the electric force acting on each one of them is k, according to Coulomb's law, k, times q times q, so q squared over that separation distance squared. So this is not a vector, I'm talking magnitudes here. The, each one has the same magnitude. Vectors, yes, they repel each other. So this one goes to the right, this one goes to the left, but for magnitudes, they both experience the same magnitude. Now, that separation distance comes into play here. This is kq squared over 4l squared sine squared alpha. So you'll notice that we already have the sine squared alpha in our problem. So that's good. Now, what is holding these things up? Well, tension from the thread is holding these things up. So tension acts along the hypotenuse. We'll call that T. And the X component of the tension is T sine of alpha, right? So if this is alpha, then opposite is the x component. And then the y component of that tension, or at least the, the magnitude, right? Because, you know, there's some symmetry there. The magnitude is uh, t cosine of alpha. So if you're talking about this charge, then tx is in the, in the left direction. If you're talking about this charge, tx is in the right. But the magnitudes are the same. Okay, so we've got, we've got the tx, we've got the ty, and then the magnitude of each weight is mg. They both have the same mass, so they both have the same weight mg. Now, if I, I'm told that this thing is in equilibrium, so if I sum the forces, we'll start with the y direction. If I sum the forces in the y direction, then all of those forces must cancel because it's in equilibrium. And so what I end up having is that the weight mg must balance, which, which acts in the y direction, must balance ty, right, the tension in the y direction, because uh, the electric force only acts in the, in the x direction. So there's, there's no electric force in the y direction. So the only things in the y direction, again, are the weight and ty. So this is the weight must be equal to the cosine of alpha. Okay, that tension must, the tension in the y direction must suspend the weight or must counter the weight. And so what I find then is that tension is mg cosine of alpha. And what that means is that the tension in the x direction then, remember in the x direction it was t sine alpha. Well, if I plug in mg cosine, mg over cosine alpha there, then I have sine alpha over cosine alpha, and that's tangent. So now I have mass gravity times tangent of alpha. And look at, that's what I was going for. I've got a tangent in the problem now. Okay, so now let's sum the forces in the x direction. And again, because this thing is in equilibrium, the, sums, uh, the sum of the forces in the x direction must balance out. So this is going to equal zero. And what do I have in the x direction? Well, I have the electric force and I have the tension in the x direction. So those things must equal each other. So I have that 
kq squared over 4l squared sine squared alpha must equal the tension in the x-direction, which is mg tangent of alpha, right? And so uh, if I would try to get my, my relationship in the, uh, in the form of the original problem statement, then I can solve this for q squared, right? And so I get 4 uh, m g l squared sine squared alpha tangent alpha over k, right? And since k is 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0, then I arrive at what I was trying to prove, and that is uh, 16, q squared that is, is 16 pi epsilon 0 mg l squared sine squared alpha tangent of alpha. So that's it.